correct. I'm here to give a study this morning, and the study will be the woman that left her water pot. The woman then left her water pot, which is a which is a water jar that is a receptacle, which is an object or space that, uh, to contain something, one that receives and contains something for family support. And we're going to start our study this morning in chap in John chapter two, starting with verse one. I'm going to flip back and forth, um, but mostly um, it will be read from um, chapter 2 um, in John. And the third uh, day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Third day is in the Holy Spirit um, of the, um, uh, the Godhead. Cana meaning um, read, um, senatorial government relating to a characteristic um, of a senator, the elders of Israel who formed a component part of, of the Sanhedrin, an assembly or council, a body or, of principal inhabitants of the city or state who share in the government. And um, like I said, I'm gonna uh, skip over, I'm gonna go over and read now from Psalms uh, 105. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him, sing songs unto him, talk you of his wondrous works. Glory you, ye in his holy name, let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength, seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works that he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O oh, you uh, seed of Abraham, his servant, you children of Jacob, his chosen, he is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and he confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying unto thee, Will I give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance? When they were but a few men in number, yea, very few and, sh and strangers in it. When they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land. He brake the whole staff of bread. He sent a man before them, even Joseph who was sold for a servant, Joseph meaning uh, increaser, may he add, whose feet they hurt with fetters, he was laid in iron, until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. Until that time that his word came. And the king sent and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. And he made him um, lord of his house and ruler over his substance, to bind his princes at his pleasure, and teach his senators wisdom. And to teach his senators wisdom. Um, Joseph being a type of savior over Egypt, Egypt prophetically being of the perverse spirit, the Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. Joseph was a governor over the people, and Joseph was the governor over the land, and it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brethren came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces uh, to the earth. A governor is responsible for taking care of the citizens of, um, of a state level, and a senator is responsible uh, for representing their state's interests at a national level. Joseph being a type of the two witnesses that will feed the elect with truth, the, um, the storehouse um, at, at the state level. And the elect uh, will represent their state at a national level. Uh, Joseph was embalmed as to be preserved. So Joseph died being 110 years old and they uh, embalmed him as to preserve him. And he was put in a coffin um, in Egypt. Um, and I'm going to just go and read over it. I'm going to go back to Psalms 105 and read that verse just made me remember that verse in, in there I'm sorry uh, 
and until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord uh, tried him, and the king sent him and loosed him, even the ruler of the people. And he made him lord of his house and ruler of his, uh, of his substance, to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his uh, senators uh, wisdom. And um, then back um, to John 2, verse um, 1. And um, I'm going to read that again. In the third day there was marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Uh, uh, Cana also means um, reed, as to weave of many strands into a dynamic and interlocked network. Uh, reed denotes some herb or a stalk or a rod, um, a branch or stalk-like item, a governmental social order. In Galilee, meaning a region rolling to roll or encircle as in a broad sweep of land or time, a circuit, a boundary, a territory, also denotes a cylinder or rod, um, also describes um, of someone who, uh, a nobility of someone who rules a region. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. Um, called us to bid forth Jesus Yeshua Savior and his disciples and when they wanted wine the mother of Jesus says unto him they have no wine uh, when they wanted wine the mother of Jesus says unto him they have no wine this being the the new wine that will be given at his resurrection being the first um, begotten in the spirit this is when we take on our spiritual bodies prophetically um, that will be able to contain this new wine and then I'm just going to flip over to Luke 5, um, verse 33 through 38. And they said unto him, Why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers, and likewise the disciples of the Pharisees? But thy eat and drink. And he said unto them, Can you make the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is, uh, is th with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. Uh, when, uh, this is when the, when the four winds are released, God's Holy Spirit will be withdrawn from this earth. It will only be in those that have taken of the marriage. And he spoke also a parable unto them, No man putteth a piece of new garment upon an old. If otherwise, then both the new maketh a rent, and the piece that was taken out of the new greeth not with the old. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles, and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. But new wine must be put into new bottles." And both are preserved, preserved as was Joseph. Um, then uh, Luke 5, um, I mean, then back to John 2. <coughs> Excuse me. On 4. And Jesus says unto her, Woman, what have I do to uh, do with thee? My hour is not yet come. He Excuse me. He calls her now woman. A woman is a womb that will bring forth children. She being a type of mother Israel who will bring uh, forth children through the living waters. This being the last two and a half months of the five months when the spiritual man uh, will come forth. Uh, five. And his mother said unto the servants, Whatever soever he says unto you, do it. And there were six, set there six water pots of stone. And after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firklins apiece, uh, six being um, weakness of man, the six-day man, six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. Um, that's the sixth dimension of time. Uh, water pots being um, a water jar that is a receptacle, which is an object or a space to contain something, also one that receives and contains something for family support. And then um, I'm going to flip over um, back um, to Mark 7 with um, verse 1. And then came to get together unto him the Pharisees and certain of the scribes which came from Jerusalem. Pharisees meaning expounders as sudden bursting forth in a wide spray of elements of something that was previously well concealed 
to break and um, and divide into equal shares also denotes an unclean bird which um, which cometh from Jerusalem. Um, Jerusalem prophetically being a condition of truth. Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. And when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with, de with defiled, that is to say with unwashed hands, they found fault. Uh, some of his disciples. In John 2, um, verse 2, and both Jesus was called and his disciples, this being the outward of washing of the hands. Uh, the purifying comes from the inside, um, through the living waters, um, not the outside as in flesh, looking upon the flesh. For the, out, for the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they wash their hands oft, eat not, holding the tradition of the elders. This being the tradition as in a transmission of customs or beliefs from generation to generation, and when they come from the market, except they wash, they eat not. And many other things there be which they have received a hold, as in the washing of cups and pots and brazen vessels and of tables. Um, when they come from the market, um, prophetically, this is where they will be merchandising souls. Um, washing outwardly before they eat the outward man then the pharisees and scribes asked him why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition of the elders but eat bread with unwashing hands um, the pharisees and the scribes after the captivity in babylon when they were brought back to jerusalem there was not found any true levitical priest ezra 8 verse 15 and i gather them together to the river that runneth to uh, ahava and there above were in tents three days, and I viewed the people and the priest and found there none of the sons of Levi. Um, there, there was no um, true Levitical priest. Um, it is Jesus Christ himself that will anoint his priesthood of the end days to the tradition of the elders not the word of god but the tradition of the elders which is um of man not god he answered and said unto them well ha have the isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites as it is written this people honoreth me with their lips but their heart is far from me their heart as in their spirit is far from me how about in vain do they worship me teaching for doctrines the commandments of men in vain as in the flesh vanity emptiness the commandments of men not the commandments of god for laying aside the commandment of god you hold the traditions of men as in the washing of pots and cups and many other such uh, like things you do and he said unto them full well you reject the commandment of god that you may keep your own tradition for Moses said, Honor thy father and thy mother, and whosoever curseth father or mother, let him die the death. There will be the father as in the fleshly father, and thy mother of the harlot, and the spiritual father and mother of Israel, who has the crown of twelve stars, twelve symbolizing God's power and authority as well as serving as a perfect governmental foundation, also symbolizing the completeness of the nation of Israel as a whole. And behold, I will send you Elijah, meaning uh, Yahweh is God, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. But you say, if a man shall say to his father or mother, it is Corban, that is to say a gift, by whatsoever thy mightest be profited by me, he shall be free. Corbin meaning a gift and offering uh, also means to come near or, or approach whether in space time socially or emotionally uh, to battle in word en in word en engagement uh, also means a consecrated gift and offering to the temple fund by whatsoever thy minus be profited by me he shall be free and I'm going to skip over to Matthew 27, 1 through 6. And when the morning was come, all the chief 
priest and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned and repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, What is that to us? See thou to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, it is not lawful for her to put them into the treasury because it is the price of blood. Uh, it is the price of blood, the sacrificial lamb shedding his blood to become the first begotten in the spirit, defeating death, where we also will be set free from our fleshly prison, taking on the spirit. And then I'm going to... Um, Go um, back to um, where was I? Mark seven. Uh, Mark seven twelve, and you suffer him no more to do all for his father or his mother being bondage to the fleshly father and the mother of harlots and then we're going to then we're going to go back to john 2 um, verse 6 and there were set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the jews containing two or three firklins apiece um, two conveys the meaning of a union um, division or the um, verification of facts by two witnesses a man and woman, though two in number, are made one in marriage, this being the first marriage, and also the union between Christ and the church, the second marriage. And three conveys the meaning of completeness. Three is in the Holy Spirit, um, the Godhead. Uh, and firkins means a liquid measure, a Greek, a Greek liquid measure. Uh, can, it contained a little more than eight gallons. Um, 16 or 24 six uh, meaning love and love in being perfected in god's love not just by physically obeying the commandments but also by following the spiritual intent of our creator's laws and judgments uh, matthew 22 verses 37 through 40 And Jesus says unto him, Thy shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thy shall love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and um, the prophets. Jesus um, Uh, 8 plus 8 equals 16. Um, 24 being associated with the priesthood, being uh, composed of a multiple, multiple of 12, which is God's power and authority, as well as a perfect foundation, except in a higher form, 24, therefore, is also connected with the worship of God, especially at the temple. And then John 2, verse 7, And Jesus says unto them, Fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to their brim. Um, these being the water pots, and they, as in verse three, um, those they had no wine. Um, brim, as in a, as in high up, upward. Set your attention on things above, not on things on the earth. As in the six water pots of stone, six as in the weakness of man. A water pot is a water jar that is a receptacle, which is an object or space to contain something, one that uh, receives and contains something for family supply of stone. And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, and I will take the stony heart out of their flesh and give them a heart of flesh. Draw out now um, as to um, bail up, um, that is dip, uh, water with a bucket, a pitcher, 
uh, a cup. Uh, John uh, 4, uh, verse 6. Now, Jake, we're going to go to John 4, starting with um, verse 6. And now Jacob's well was there. And Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. Now Jacob's well was there. Jacob being the heel grabber, the supplanter, and Jesus as, uh, as in Yeshua Savior, the sixth hour is in the six water pots of stone, uh, this being the, as in weakness of man, the, um, the sixth dimension of time when man can still labor and do all their work. And there cometh a woman um, of Samaria to draw water. Uh, and Jesus says unto her, Give me to drink. A woman, that is a womb that brings forth children of Samaria, being Watch Mountain. We are to be on watch. She is on watch, so Jesus is coming to visit her um, for the marriage invitation, uh, prophetically. This being when Jesus comes to visit us. This being when we are asleep and we are awakened by the sound of church bells. They will ring twice as a double witness. Um, you will then... Um, the bells were on the bottom of the high priest robe. This will be your high priest Melchizedek uh, coming to visit you. You will then see a vision of a man sleeping with breath being blown on him. This will be the quickening, making you spiritually alive, where you'll be able to spiritually hear and spiritually see, uh, opening up the supernatural realm for you. Uh, when you see this vision of this man sleeping with breath being blown on him, um, this will let you know that you have been anointed in the Levitical priesthood of the end, um, of the end days. Um, and then, and there cometh a, a, water, a woman of Samaria to draw water. And Jesus says unto her, Give me to drink. Um, she is there to draw water, as in John 2, verse 8. And he says unto them, Draw out now. And for his disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat. We are not to go into the city. We are to come uh, out of the city and we are to wait for the meat. The meat will be provided to us by Jesus Christ himself in the last two and a half months when the spiritual man will come forth at the seventh dimension of time. Then says the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou being a Jew ask of drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. And Jesus answered and said unto her, If thy knewest the gift of God, and who it is that says to thee, Give me to drink, thy would have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. And the woman says unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with. And the well is deep from whence then has thy this living uh, water. Um, thy has nothing to draw uh, with. Uh, draw as to um, bail up, that is uh, dip uh, water with a, a bucket, a pitcher, a cup, etc. Uh, as, as in Mark um, 7, verse 4. And when they came from the market, as when they go uh, go to merchandise, John um, 4, verse 8, for his disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat, um, except um, they wash, um, they eat not, and many other things there be when they have received uh, to hold as the washing of cups and pots and brazen vessels and of tables, um, this uh, being outwardly, not inwardly. And um, and aren't thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Now she's um, perceiving that um, this um, one um, that is talking to her is f greater than father Jacob. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of the water um, of this uh, water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. And the woman says unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. And Jesus says unto her, Go call thy husband and come hither. Before he can give her this water, she has to recognize him as her husband. And the woman answered and said, I have no husband. And Jesus answered her, Thy as well said, I have no husband, because he is her husband. For thy has had five husbands, and he whom thy now has is not thy husband, and that said is thy truly. Five meaning grace, and, and he that um, 
she now has as thy husband is not her husband because uh, he is her husband and the woman says unto him sir i perceive that thy art a prophet she perceives that he, she, he is the prophet uh, the anointed one christos our father worshiped in this mountain and you say that in jerusalem is a place where men ought to worship jerusalem be in a condition of truth jerusalem shall be called a city of truth the mountain of the lord of hosts the holy mountain jesus says unto her woman believe me the hour cometh when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at jerusalem worship the father when the four winds are released god's holy spirit will be withdrawn and will only be in those that have taken up the marriage you worship you know not what you know what we worship um, for the salvation is of, of the jews jews being those that are of judah that will come forth first in the spirit but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshiper seeketh true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him he is seeking those out that understand that he is a spirit and he must enter a vessel uh, he's the lord of hosts god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship in spirit and truth and the woman says unto him i know that the messiah cometh which is called christ when he come he will tell us all things and jesus says unto her i that speak unto thee am uh, am thee, am he, uh, that um, spirit that was within the vessel. And um, then we're going to go back um, to John verse 8. And he says unto them, Draw out not now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it, the governor of the feast. Joseph, meaning may he add the increaser, as in the enlarging of the tent, uh, pegs uh, of the um of the feast as in marriage feast uh, bring them to this marriage feast uh, that woman at the well that recognized him as her husband and left her water pot from jacob's well the woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and says to the men this is where they went uh, the city is where they went to buy the meat come see a man which told me all things that ever i did is not this the christ um this being that water pot of stone and they um bear it uh, as to bring it forth verse 9 and when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and knew not whence it was but the servants which drew the water knew the governor of the feast called the bridegroom this being the water that was made wine and knew not whence it was verse 8 and they bear it the governor of the feast um, called the bridegroom and says unto him every man at the beginning does set forth good wine and when men have well drunk then that which is worse but thou hast kept the good wine until now uh, and says unto him that is the bridegroom at the beginning as when we were of the first day in the spirit but thou hast kept the good wine until now as at the last um when we will be um wait a minute which we will be once again um be as of the first Uh, then 11 the beginning this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him this being the beginning of miracles did jesus yeshua savior in cana uh, a sen senatorial government relating to a characteristic of a senator an assembly or council or body of principle of inhabitants of the city or state who share in the government and Galilee meaning region rolling to roll or in circle as in broad sweep of land time a circuit a boundary a territory also denotes a cylinder a rod also describes the nobility of someone who rules a region prophetically being the two witnesses who will also will act as a savior of the people as of Joseph um, uh, from the perverse spirit of Egypt of the lies and deceit to the living waters of truth and then I'm going to flip over to Revelation 11, starting with verse 1.
And there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise, and measure the temple of God and the altar, and them that worship therein. A reed also meaning Cana, as in John 2, um, and, and the, and the uh, third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, this being um, the increasing of the tent, the enlarging of the tent pegs, Joseph meaning the increaser, may he add, Joseph being a type of savior that is um, to come, he was embalmed, uh, preserved. And, but the court which was without the temple leave out and measure it not for it is given unto the Gentiles and the holy city shall they tread under forty, uh, under foot forty and two months and I will give power unto my two witnesses that they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if, if any man will hurt them, he must be in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy. And they have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. They have power over the waters to turn them to blood, the waters being of the spirit. There will be those that will be filled with the Holy Spirit, that is, blood and water. This is he that come by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it's the Spirit that beareth witness, because the Spirit is truth. And um, then I'm going to go over to John uh, 6, um, verse 41. The Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down uh, from heaven. And they said, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he says, I came down from heaven? Jesus, Yeshua, Savior, the son, as in the builder of the family of Joseph, Joseph meaning the increaser, may he add, whose father and mother we know. They being the murmurers, the unbelievers, the father and the mother we know as in fleshly, uh, not as in spiritually, heavenly. Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which have, has sent me draw him, and I will raise him up the last day draw him as to bail up that is to dip water with a pitcher a bucket a cup etc uh, this first being that when that um that recognizes him as her husband and then drops her water pot and goes into the city to tell the men come see a man which told me all things that i ever did is not this um the christ um no man can come to me except the Father which have sent me draw him, and I will raise him up the last day. Uh, she, she was raised up first, recognizing him as her husband, and then she will lead uh, the elect uh, to him. And then the elect will lead the 144,000 to him. Uh, this will be the raising up of the Levitical priesthood. It, they will be handpicked by Jesus Christ himself. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and have learned of the Father cometh unto me. Not that any man has seen the Father, save he which is of God. He has seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me has everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat, did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which come down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Uh, life sustaining, as in spiritual life, spiritual nourishment. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? He says, I am the living bread, the spirit that is dwelling inside that host. 
Then Jesus says unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whosoever eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, hath the eternal life, and I will raise him up the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, dwelleth in me, and I in him. Dwelleth in me, and I in him. Emmanuel, God with us. I am, I in him, the vessel. Uh, 57 and as the living father has sent me as i live by the father so he that eateth me even he shall live by me this is the that bread which came down from heaven not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead he that eateth of this bread shall live forever these things said he in the synagogue as he taught in capernaum many therefore of his disciples when they had heard this said this is a hard saying who can hear it when jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it he said unto them does this offend you what and if you shall see the son of man ascend up where he was before this being mount olivet as in the place of olives uh, olives uh, being the anointing oil that they used to anoint the priest in the tabernacle um, Uh, in Revelation 11, um, verse 4, these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. Um, Mount Olivet was not only um, covered with olive trees, but it was also an enormous graveyard, uh, possibly in the time of Solomon. Um, around there was counting around 150,000 graves including the graves of Haggai, uh, Zechariah and Malachi. Uh, in verse 45 it is written in the prophets and they shall be all taught of God every man therefore that has heard and has learned of the Father uh, calmly to me. Uh, 63 But there are some of you that believe not, for Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. Um, knew, knew from the beginning as in the first rebellion. And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me, except it were given unto him of my Father, because he knows who was with him in the first day. He knows who he can trust. Uh, we don't know that of ourselves because um, we are in a spiritual slumber but we will be awakened and uh, when we will be awakened we will stand upright we from that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him they went back and walked no more with him they went back to the flesh then said jesus unto the twelve will you also go away uh, the 12 symbolizing God's power and, and authority as well as a perfect governmental foundation also symbolizing the completeness of the nation of Israel as a whole uh, the spiritual government foundation in him uh, 68 then Simon Peter answered him Lord to whom shall we go thou has the words of eternal life uh, Lord as in Yahweh has the words of eternal life as a as as spiritual no man's words of vanity and we believe and are sure that thy aren't that christ the son of the living god thy aren't that christ as in christos the anointed one the son as in the builder of the family of of the living god the lord of the host of the spirit in john 4 verse 25 the woman says unto him i know that the messiah cometh which is called christ when he comes he will tell us all things and the woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and says to the men come see a man which told me all things that i ever did is not this the christ uh, then 70 and jesus answered them have not i chosen you 12 and one of you is a devil have not i chosen you 12 it is jesus christ himself who will set up his levitical priesthood his governmental foundation and righteousness um, take one from 12 being 11 symbolizing disorder chaos and judgment coming after 10 meaning law responsibility and completeness of order 11 being the opposite 
um, which is irresponsibility of breaking the law, which brings disorder and judgment. And he spoke of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. Um, um, And then I'm going to go over to Luke 22, uh, 1. Now the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew nigh, uh, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Kill him. When God's spirit comes forth, Satan will come to resist his spirit, as he did in Genesis 6 and um, prophetically um, Revelation 12. 